So we had this uh, seminar on European Banking Union, uh, how far have we gone, what remains to be done over the coming months, what will it change uh, for the environment and uh, what will be missing. The changes which have been agreed have been very important. I think there is an, uh, an agreement about, uh, about that. Uh, the European Central Bank will be given very strong powers and this has been explained very clearly. Uh, this power will be exercised uh, over about 100, 150 banks, but the possibility will be extended to all the banks potentially in Europe. And the powers of supervision will be very strong, very direct. And this will change uh, many things in the European environment. In the, it will complement the monetary union. Uh, it will give the European Central Bank the power to uh, assess which banks are really solvent, uh, how much capital uh, other banks will need. Uh, it will establish a level playing field to assess financial stability. Of course, it will require some separation with implementation of monetary policy, but this can be organized. Uh, what will it change for banks? For large banks, it was clearly stated that this will be very important because it will lead to simplifying procedures, to saving uh, a lot of money, especially on infrastructure, uh, ICT, uh, all the costs which are entailed with different uh, legislations or different interpretation of the European legislation. So this could lead to uh, quite substantial changes in the banking, especially for large banks. Uh, and what, what is left? I mean, of course, single supervisor is an important step forward, but there are other aspects which need to be uh, uh, still implemented to achieve a true banking union. Uh, one element is a single resolution system. What if a bank uh, goes under? What is the procedure to be followed? Uh, if we need public funds, uh, will we have a single uh, fund in Europe to be able to recapitalize the banks? That's a clear, that is a clear, uh, uh, very important issue that has to be solved. The ESM could eventually finance uh, this restructuring, uh, but this requires, I think, some adaptation, and this is under discussion. And then the remaining issue is also, will we have a single insurance system for deposit? That's a much longer term issue. It requires fiscal integration in Europe. But with the decision taken last December, we have made a very important step forward. Maybe we waited a long time, but uh, now we, we have uh, taken this step. We have to implement it. It is a very important change and it will lead to a much stronger union, uh, a much stronger banking union, but a much stronger monetary union, much more resilient. And that's the challenge uh, for the policy authorities in the next few months and years.